I'm getting ready to pour the resin on this wooden heart um, and it's got gears and recycling theme and I just have a couple of recycled plastic containers here that I use to set these on to do the pour and then I also take masking tape it took me a while to figure this out but it saves from having a lot of resin droplets on the back and um, can create, I take it off after about three hours and the resin is cured enough to where it comes off easily, but it leaves a really smooth edge on it. So I put a little bit, as you can see, there's a bit of li little lip there um, just to contain the resin. So next step will be to mix the resin. And I use art resin, um, just seems to be the best. It also self levels. So we have the resin and then the hardener and we pour equal parts um, in just some container. Again, I have like a leftover plastic container, so recycle, reuse, whatever. Um, and then I have to stir it for three minutes, so I'm gonna go do that. All right, so I'm nice and stirred, and now we're going to pour it in here. Just kind of start towards the outside edges get as much of the excess out of there as you can. Don't want to waste any of it. I'm just using an old brush that got stiffened up and wasn't good for painting anymore. Use it as my stirring stick, spreading stick. Okay, so there. Now you can kind of just move it around by just spreading it this way and kind of tipping it a little bit because I don't want to like super thick amount just enough to make it really cover it nicely and it gives such an amazing pop the colors just immediately are transformed with resin I mean the colors are already super vibrant but you add the resin on it and it just takes it to a whole nother level of gorgeousness all right, spread some down here. And you can use a like little, sometimes I use something like this with like a straight edge on it and spread it that way. But because this is a smaller piece, um, I just like to use the end of the brush. Get, especially when I've got the um, masking tape because I can get right into the edges and make sure it's nice and evenly up against the edges. Like there's a spot. Okay. Whoops, let's pull some in, push it up in there. Don't want any gaps down there at the end. And kind of turn it and let it pool in different directions so it's nice and even in it. Like I said before, it is self-leveling, so that helps a lot. Just make sure, you know, your surface that you're resting it on while it um, settles up is level. Okay, I think we've got full coverage. Now, I don't know if you can see or not. Probably not. Let's try it from a different angle. Show you the bubbles in there that is the next step, getting the bubbles out. Okay, see all those little bubbles? They need to come out. So, you can use like a butane torch or right now all I have handy is like a barbecue lighter, <laughs> which works fine um, in a pinch. So let's zoom back in here and show you how those bubbles disappear with a little bit of heat. And there they go. See how that crazy cool that is? They just disappear like magic. Boom, gone. And you just go over the entire piece with the resin, with the flame, and get all those bubbles out. And you can tell, see looking at like this at an angle, see all those bubbles in there? I'm going to get all of those out with the flame. And I'll show you, like you can see all the bubbles right now. Give me a minute to get them all out and we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like all nice and smoothed out. All right, I just finished getting all the bubbles out. And look at the difference, perfect.
There is not a single bubble in there to be found. But one thing that I do, um, you can still manipulate the resin for about, uh, I think they say like 48 minutes. And as it's settling, it moves a little bit um, and it can create bubbles. So just come back and keep checking it every five to 10 minutes if you need to pop out some more bubbles with the heat to keep that perfectly awesome, beautiful shine, smooth shine in there.